Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jay, and today we're going to play another episode of Subnautica. And uh, we're just going to pick up where we left off, which was the Aurora. Let me go grab my Sea Moth real quick. Let me go grab that so we can make our way over. I was hoping... I don't think it's at 100% charge, is it? Yep. Energy fully charged. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Okay, so... Systems Which way do I go? Um, I believe... Yep, oh, right over there. Just straight ahead. Just straight ahead. Let's go. Uh, I think on the way I need to stop by um, Pod 4. Somewhere on the way. I don't remember exactly where it is. I don't think I have a beacon for it. If I were to go into my beacon manager. Um, Life Pod 4. I don't have one. I just kind of came across it. Like, I guess, by accident or whatever. And it was... There's something in there that I that I left behind. <laughs> Someone was kind enough to let me know that I missed something in there. So I want to go back and check it out. And it should be on the way there. If I just follow this path right here, I should stumble onto it. It wasn't at the bottom. It was like floating at the top, which was um, different from the others, of course. But so far, I don't see anything. Oh, there it is right there. There it is right there. Just got to go over here and see what I'm missing. I don't know exactly. I thought I checked it thoroughly, but apparently I've been doing a bad job of that. So let's see what we're missing here. Let's go inside. Um, the last time I was here, I grabbed this thing right here. Oh, there we go. This tablet. How did I miss that? Cool. Integrating new PDA data. So what do we have here then? Is it a voice log or data bank? Data download? Survivors? Here we go. Let's listen to it. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Okay. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class of highly aggressive. Oh, me too. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator Reaper. One specimen ah. attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. Okay. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. Okay. If you don't find me on board the ship, then you got got. I presume I miscalculated. Oh no, that's fucking sad. So we've already met the Reaper, and I do believe I found the um, the blueprint for. Well, it must have been in there, right? Yeah, from LifePod for the beacon. I haven't crafted any. Maybe I should. The Reaper is a sweetheart, you know? I haven't really had any issues with the Reaper just yet. Okay, so I don't know if this is actually the way in. This was the way I found last time. Let me run past these guys here. Um, see, okay, I don't think this is a way in. So apparently if I had like a propulsion cannon or whatever it's called, I'd be able to clear that. I don't know if that's a way in, but um, let's go around this way. Actually, let me go ahead and see. I think I have the blueprint for the propulsion cannon. I did want to check that out. But I don't have one crafted. I don't see it anywhere unless I'm completely missing it. But, oh, that's what I need to get, the prawn suit. I really want that. Uh, let's see here. I don't see anything that looks like... Prawn suit. Okay, so is it an attachment for the prawn suit? Is what it looks like. So I can't just walk around with a propulsion cannon on my arm, I guess. Is that what that's saying? I need a prawn suit first. Let me. Oh, no, here we go. This one. Um, I need a computer chip, magnetite, and a regular propulsion cannon. Oh, this is for the modification station. That's to make it, like, to upgrade it, make it even better. And that is another thing I need to do. After I'm finished here with the Aurora, I need to upgrade some of my stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere. I might have to um, take a minute later and search for it. But oh, right here, I'm missing the um, I'm missing the blueprint. It looks like I need to go find the fragments. I need to figure that out. That'll be a good goal. Maybe not for this video, but for the next one, uh, sooner rather than later, for sure. Because I definitely do want to check that out. Okay, I'm being attacked by these little fuckers. So let's go ahead and go this way. This is the way I came last time. And uh, what I didn't have last time was my uh, fire extinguisher. I don't know if this is a way in up here. It doesn't look like it. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I'm gonna go back this way. I'm not sure if the way in is to actually go through the fire. There might be another entrance. Because I saw what looked like an entrance up here. And that's when the idea occurred to me that I need a fire extinguisher to get in. Where was it? Like right here. I was like right here and I was like, can I just like squeeze through right here? Yeah. Um, oh damn, I'm on fire. So can I like, uh, let me see if I can, what happens if I just extinguish this right here? I'm like ignoring these guys, but they're doing a lot of damage. So I might need to take care of them real quick. I might need to take care of them. Where are they? Where you at? And now they don't want to show up. Is he gonna fall off? <laughs> no, I'm gonna fall off. Fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna go down this way and pray that I find a way in. Oh, this is not good. I'm taking a lot of damage. What about over here? Oh, there's a crate. Please let there be a medkit in here. There is a medkit. Oh, and a fire extinguisher. That's a sign that this is the way. That's a sign, right? Oh, yeah. Let me just, uh, I don't want to fucking... Oh, it is dark in here. I did not expect it to be so dark. Do I have my flashlight? I don't think I brought my flashlight with me. I hope that's not going to be a problem. Worst case scenario, I just use my, uh... My sea glide. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything, because you know I am notorious for that. Okay, so... We're in. We're inside. Welcome. <laughs> we're in. systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Okay. Alright, so we got cargo bay that way, administration that way. Oh, here we go. We got the uh, fragment for the, um... Integrating new PDA data. Okay, so... I've got... Okay, the propulsion cannon only has two fragments. That's great. So hopefully I'll find, find that soon. But what are we, um... I was looking for... Let's go back out here. Blueprints, data download. This one right here. Let's listen to it. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley, install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone, I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Senses recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Yeah. Albert. I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Okay. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation <laughs> mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. Yo, this um fire extinguisher, like, it's quickly running out. Okay, let's grab this. There's so much. Oh my gosh. Integrating new PDA data. Is this it right here? Uh, so here we are, finally in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate to send ships to mine resources to build more expensive ships to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? Okay, cool. Uh, use birthday weeks before we get home. Weeks it feels like before we get home. Not enough. Credit Altera's paying me. 1454 cargo bay code okay 1454 is a cargo bay code so oh look apparently you can grab these posters don't mind if i do a little flashlight please thank you very much um i think there was something else in here i know i got this uh data terminal here but i thought i saw something else doesn't look like it so let's go ahead and grab this integrating new pda data uh, phase gate announced for the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, so this I might read later, but uh, it looks like from what I've gathered from that, Altera was trying to build phase gates, which I guess are like hyper jump type things. So we can um, get further out and into the galaxy and like mine resources. You know, like jumping into hyperspace, you know? Makes sense. It, that definitely explains why we're here in the first place. Okay. Oh, Cargo Bay 3. So I've got the code for Cargo Bay 3. So let's go here and see what we can find. This looks like a crate. Yes, it is. Batteries? I wonder why the game is giving me so many batteries all of a sudden. 
Hold up, can I actually, um... No, not this, but... This is gonna sound stupid, okay. I was wondering if I can change the battery in my, uh... In my fire extinguisher, and I... You know, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. So, what is going on here? It doesn't look like I can get up there. I feel like this is what the propulsion cannon is for. You know what I mean? Like this, like a propulsion cannon should be able to get me in there. From my understanding. So do I need to go craft that real quick? I can't because I don't have all the parts. I only have one part. So am I, am I stuck? Am I done? Is that it? No, I'm not satisfied with that. Hopefully... I don't think I'm missing the other fragment, am I? I feel like it would make sense that the other fragment would be here somewhere. But something tells me... Oh no, I'm out. Let me, um, switch out my... Wait, I didn't actually switch it out, did I? I don't think I... Where is it? Where's the... I think I... Hold up, what did I just do? with my fire extinguisher. That's the old one. I had another one. Did I, I didn't drop it, did I? I don't know what I just did. What did I just do with it? Bro, I am tripping so bad right now. I have no idea what I just did with my fire extinguisher. I really don't. Yeah, I really don't. That's so weird. I was kind of wondering if, um... Oh, it's right there. Dude, did I, like... I'm gonna get hurt doing this. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. I was just kind of wondering if, um... I'm gonna put this right here. There we go. I was just kind of wondering if, like, the propulsion cannon is, like... Under here somewhere. Under the fire, you know what I mean? I just wanted to see... If I'm thinking along the right lines, doesn't look like it. There's nothing there. There's nothing behind here either, unfortunately. Looks like I'm not going to get that propulsion cannon right now. There's got to be somewhere else in the uh, on the ship. Is there another way? Is there more to explore? Like, I, I kind of want... I was excited to explore the Aurora. But it looks like I reached a uh, an endpoint already. Because I don't have that propulsion cannon. No shot, right? What's over there? And can I get over there? Doesn't look like it. Can I? Whoops. Can't tell if I'm doing anything right now. Or if I'm just wasting my fire extinguisher. I'm probably just wasting it. Right? Because I can't even like... Yeah, I think I'm trying to game the system. I was wondering if I can like run across there. But even then, there's something blocking the doorway, so that wasn't a very smart idea. Anyway. Damn it. Like, is there nothing I can do? Well, this blows. This sucks. I want my money back. <laughs> I want my money back. Okay, let's go back this way. Um, maybe, uh... Squeeze right through here, yeah. Maybe there's, like, another entrance that I can check out. I'm not sure. But hopefully there is somewhere else I can go. Although, it looks like I've reached an end right here. So let's go back and see if there's anything else I can do. It looks like I'm just going to have to... Oh, I can't go back up here. What the hell? About to say. Okay. Let's go find another way in if we can. If not, then I guess we gotta go back. Okay, so as you can see, I made my way back over to my base. I had to take a little detour and go to Life Pod 17 in order to find um, a fragment for the propulsion cannon. I only had one, so I went over there, found another one, and now I actually have the propulsion cannon so I can actually explore the Aurora. Now that I have that, I think I also have one, about three or four um, fire extinguishers. Hopefully, I don't need any more than that. One of them's dead. I can't do anything about that, but I have, what, one, two, three, four of them. So hopefully, that'll be enough to explore the Aurora. So let's go ahead and um, head over there. I'm also going to leave my glider behind because I want to um, just free up as much space as I can. I know I'm taking up a lot of space here, 
but I feel like everything here is kind of necessary. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I probably don't need to take all these tools, but as for the batteries, I just don't want to run out of uh, batteries in any of my tools. But so I probably can't take a whole lot, but I don't know how much stuff I'm going to be grabbing anyway, but I feel like that should be enough space. Let's jump back in the Seamoth and let's go. All right, we are back on the Aurora. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to test out my new, uh, my new, my shiny new toy. I'm going to try and uh, get in that entrance over there. Oh, it's doing something funny. What do I do? How do I use? Oh, nice. Yo, that is so cool. I'm trying to like avoid these guys. I hear him trying to, trying to get me. Okay. Oh snap. Okay, so if I, bitch. Oh, I think I can actually use it to fight these guys. It just knocked him back, didn't it? Bitch. Let me see if I can figure this out. Bitch. Oh, that did nothing. I don't know if I can actually use it. Anyway, let's put that right there. Can we go through now? I'm trying to get that last one. I am not. I need to get in the habit of using this thing. This is in the way. Okay, let me slow down a little bit. There. Yo, is he dead? Oh, I thought he was dead. Like, we got him. Okay. What's in here? A battery? Yeah, we're getting a lot of batteries. I can imagine why, but... This guy needs to leave me alone. So I can explore in peace. Okay, let's... Focus on the fire in front of us. These fires, putting out these fires takes up so much of the uh, extinguisher. Okay. I'm starting to regret not bringing the sea glide or a flashlight. Because it might get pretty dark. But we're going we're gonna to trek on ahead. And see... And see what we can find. Yeah, it's really dark in here. This room, so this room looks really dangerous. Okay, so we have a, a PDA right here. Integrating new PDA data. If you need access, oh sorry, I read that wrong. If you need to tweak your equipment, please use the mod station in the forward section or retrieve pre-configured equipment from the lab next door to the data coil. The door code is six four eight three. Okay, I'm not gonna remember that, but let's try to swim around a little bit. I'm trying. I'm looking at the um scanner in the bottom right to see if it's picking up anything because it is a little hard to see but i think that might be it for this room okay so now we got to go through here and oh, i actually have my cutter already equipped i didn't bring a spare um tank because i didn't think i would need it so i am a little worried maybe i should have brought one to be sure but Hopefully, when I get to the other side of this door, I can find some air. <clears throat> if not, I might be screwed. Yeah, let's go up here. This looks really dangerous. Yeah. Holy crap. Am I supposed to be here? This looks really dangerous. Oh my god, it is so dark. What is this? A data terminal. Integrating new PDA data. The Aurora... Oh man, I just dropped a can over here. The Aurora Black Box Data. Initiated slingshot maneuver around planet, blah, blah, blah. High velocity energy pulse detected on... So apparently, okay, so I learned this in my... I took astronomy in college. A <laughs> slingshot maneuver is when you try to, like, I guess, uh, in a way, use a planet's gravity to propel you not only past that planet, but to... Basically to travel, uh, whatever, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Anyway, slingshot maneuver. Uh, high velocity energy pulse detected on planet surface. Emergency distress signal sent to Altera. Listening, blah, blah, blah. Impact detected. Life off base on starboard side. Compromised. Emergency evacuation initiated. Okay. So wait, I thought we were trying to get to this planet. To establish a phase gate. But we were trying to get around it. To go where? I'm not sure if that's important or not. Um, emergency evacuation initiated. Manual piloting transferred to Captain Hollister. Lipod 1 through 25. There are 25 Lipods. Launched successfully. Entering planetary atmosphere. Massive impact. Register drive core shield compromise. Emergency bounce backs received from eight Lipods on planet surface. Human life signs detected over long range at T plus eight hours. Um, one, okay, which would probably be me. 
personal personnel unaccounted for non-essential systems maintenance chief riley robinson that would be me is that how you learn your name riley robinson i already knew that my name is riley because the description of the game when i read it described me as riley altera hq rescue solution received at blah 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 priorities okay so monitoring equipment fail so i'm not sure if i'm missing anything from that any vital information but that's pretty cool i'm gonna have to take a look at that later to see if i fully understood everything i feel like there's something down here or around here that i can maybe uh pick up or scan or something like that but i'm not seeing anything again i didn't bring a uh, flashlight in hindsight that would have been the best thing to do let's go back up here I don't know if I can... Oh my gosh. That's, that does a lot of damage. Of course it does. But where do I go next? Over here? Can't tell what this is. If it is anything, I can't see the bottom at all. Oh my gosh. Is there... There's like an entire... Damn, I feel like I'm really going to need flashlight here doing this in the dark is not the move if it's too dark for you guys I apologize for that I will take that into I'll remember next time oh here perfect oh my god thank you the game knows that I'm an idiot and it came in clutch see that is so thoughtful the game is so th thoughtful I'm gonna put this as a uh, number three on the bar. I need to change out the battery. Perfect. Look at that. That is so much better. Yo, this game, they put a lot of thought into this game. The fact that they put that uh, flashlight there instead of relying on me to go back and get my own is actually really, really cool. Alright. I'm looking around. I don't see anything. Maybe there's something in here to scan. Can't see in there. If I need to get air, can I go up here? Okay. Okay, good. So, this is great because I don't need to, um... I don't think I would have needed that extra tank anyway. So, this is good. This is helpful. Having the air right there. So, I can explore freely without having to worry about drowning. But watch me. I would still find a way to drown. Believe you me. I would still find a way to drown. I don't see anything in here. Should I be looking in these crates? Nope. Can't look in that crate, at least. Um, I'm also... Should I be moving things? I'm wondering if I'm if I can take advantage of my uh, my new toy in any way. Nope. Doesn't look like it. What about that one? It looked like it budged a little bit, but okay. Nothing there. All right, let's go up. The battery on this thing is actually. Wait, this says grab item, load item from inventory. What? What does that mean? I can put something in my inventory into... What? The fish. I have a poster that I found. I'm going to have to figure that out. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to lose uh, my fish for that poster. <laughs> so we'll use that in a second once I get a go good opportunity to. So what now? Anything in here? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I was going to say, good thing I have extra batteries because this thing right here runs out of battery so quickly power cell maybe I need to put a power cell inside it this is probably I mean I've only used it a couple times but I can already tell this is gonna be my favorite tool I feel like there's a lot of ways you can use it creative ways okay here's some more crates another power cell that's great looks like I can maybe put out these fires so wait what are so these are uh, prawn suits right that's what they look like I need to find a way to craft one. I really need up a faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. In the in what room? This room? Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go over there. Or oh, from the room I'm in now, so I need to find a way to get to the next room. But do I need to put out this fire? I feel like it's hiding something that I can maybe Um check out. Let's uh Let's do this for a second. I don't want to waste this, but at the same time, is there anything over here? Gotta be careful. What is that? Anything? 
Another uh, a storage module? What is that? Dude, I'm on fire. A storage module. A small storage locker. Seamoth prawn compatible. Okay, cool. That's good to know. So that is a prawn suit, which I really, really want. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, see if we can go to the next room. I don't think there's anything else over here, right? I don't want to waste my uh, extinguisher, but... Yeah, I think I might be wasting it. I don't think there's anything else over there. Okay, let's clear a path here. Using my handy-dandy... Or I could just go up the other side, right? Is this the only way up? Hold up. Looks like I can go up that way, too. So let's do that. Well, I still have to move this stuff out of the way. If I can. I'm surprised it's not allowing me to do anything here. Am I out of battery? Let's recharge it. Can I use a... Uh, okay, I can't use a power cell. I was going to say. Yeah, it wasn't a battery issue. It's just not picking up anything. What about this door over here? It's locked. I hear, I hear stuff happening all around me and it's kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. Being in here is actually kind of scary. Inside the Aurora. I don't even know how I'm going to get back out. Which is a little concerning. I'm, I feel like I'm not using this correctly. I mean, I am, but like, it's taking a second to get used to it. Why is none of this stuff moving? I'm trying to get that top one up there. Is that the only one I can grab? It's not letting me grab the others. Okay, there we go. Now I can move this one. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me. Get out the way. Thank you. Okay. Anything here? Nope. Oh, man. Okay. I'm definitely intimidated. There are a lot of these crates around. I'm really happy for that. More power cells. Don't mind if I do. Do not mind if I do. What was that? Oh, a nutrition block. That's going to come in handy because I'm already running low on food. Here's another one. Oh, so the game clearly wants you to explore. They want you to take your time, so it's like giving you everything. Filtered water. Oh, that is so... That's... Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There's got to be something in here. Where, where are we right now? Looks like some kind of um, lounge area. Let's put out some fires real quick. So we can explore freely. I need to... Be oh my gosh. I am on the verge of death. I need to be more careful. I almost died a second ago, but these fires, they come back. If you don't really put them out. I guess I don't need to put out every fire. But I want to be able to move around the room. Okay. I bet you there's like... Is there anything in here for me to scan? Chairs or anything like that? What was that? Okay. A wall shelf. I'll scan it. Don't mind if I do. Perfect. Got a medkit. Thank you very much. This game was like designed for me. Okay, it knows. It knew I would need that. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. So what is this? I might have to read this later, but um, Space Bear Vilut. Since her introduction to the interstellar vacuum in the 21st century, microscopic tardigrades or space bears have adapted in floors where no other life forms have survived. Condensed into a smooth, nutty, protein-rich soup, they are the freshest local ingredient available to travelers, travelers on long-haul space flights. Okay. Uh, cottage pie or nutrient block. That's the stuff that we picked up. Rehydrated minced beef in its own gravy, served with a topping of mashed Chinese potato. Pig fresh this morning from onboard grow beds. And a side of sauteed Chinese potato plant leaves. For the time-conscious consumer, the usual nutrient block options are available. They may be... They may be consumed cold or reconstituted at the on-site fabric. Oh, so we can actually make those. That's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, we're going to leave. We're going to read that the desserts later. Um, that's good to know. So we can make those nutrient blocks. I'm going to have to figure that out. Grab that poster. Thank you very much. Speaking of posters, I need to like make a personal room back at my base. I need to expand it out and make like a bedroom or something so I can sleep. I just saw something. Scannable. 
Saw it again. Something down here, right? Oh, it's the vending machine. I don't mind. I like vending machines. <laughs> Can I go in there? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so we got some posters. And some new stuff. This furniture is gonna, like, push me into the fire. I just know it. So just get out of my way. Thank you, thank you. Is there anything on the ground over there? No, I think I'm gonna leave the fire going then. Okay, let's go this way. That was the uh, canteen. Where was this room? That was a supply room. Did I miss anything in here? It was just like a couple of nutrient blocks, right? I think that was it. Okay, let's go to the next room. Okay, nothing here. Let's go around that fire. Do we have anything back here? No. This place is huge. I am so gonna get lost. Okay, these are the cabins. What's over here? More cabins? Okay, we're gonna start with... Where's cabin one? I don't think that matters. Let's just go in here and start scanning stuff. Got some beds to scan. What else? Anything else? Is that a uh, picture? Yeah, it's a picture. It's a picture. So this is obviously... Well, this is the cabin area, right? So, oh, open storage? What does that mean? Can I take this with me? Oh, wait. Oh, so can I put stuff in here? What can I put in here? Should I put the batteries in here, maybe? Perhaps. Um, and what about... There's some tools that I don't... Like, what about that? Put that in there. And maybe... Repair... I don't know if I need the repair tool. So let's put that in there for now. And pick it up. Whoops. That's not how you pick it up. Bag is open storage. How do I pick it up? I thought I would be able to pick it up. Oh, bag is not empty. Oh, okay. That sucks. I was hoping that I can, like, um... Well, that sucks. I was hoping I would be able to store some of the stuff inside of it and then pick it up. That's not cool. I got excited for a second. But should I bring it with me anyway? Let's bring it for now. That might come in handy. Transporting personal items. Uh, I beg to differ because I can't even put stuff in it. Or maybe there's just something I don't understand about it. Let's try this again. Where's it back? I dropped it, didn't I? But where... Where did I drop it? Oh, I, I like threw it all the way over here. So if it's if it's got stuff inside of it, then I can't pick it up. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's try this again. It won't let me uh, open storage. Okay, if I put something in there, I'm gonna put these uh, like this dead fire hydrant in there. Um. I cannot pick it up. Okay. Then what's the point of... What is the point... Well, I should drop these anyway. There's nothing I can do about these fire hydrants. I'm going to pick it up for now. I don't really know if it's going to uh, serve me at all. But let's go ahead and drink that water. Oh, that is so good. So refreshing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat a couple of the fish. Let's just top off. There we go. Vital signs. It's good enough for now. Let's clear a path here. I don't know if I can even get inside this door. But we're going to try. Put that fire out before it comes back. Can I move any of this stuff? It doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Is there like a pathway behind that fire? It doesn't look like it. I'm going to go back this way. Okay, here's another fire. Put this one out. Yeah. See what's inside. Why am I on fire? You gotta make sure all of it is gone before you do anything. Okay, we got some more carry-on bags. I'm not excited about that. Is there any? Oh my gosh, I picked it up. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna drop these. <laughs> They're starting to annoy me. But is there anything inside them? Is what I want to know. Open storage. It's empty. What about this one? Uh, empty. Okay. Anything else in here? Battery? I'll pick up that battery. Thank you. That's empty. I guess all the bags are empty. Abandoned PDA? How come it didn't, like, do a, you know, the little, like, oh, you just got a new PDA thing? Data bank. Data downloads. 
It didn't say that I got anything new, right? I'm not, am I just missing something? Survivor, Aurora survivors, maybe? No, there's nothing in here. Okay, that's okay. All right, let's keep uh, looking. See what's in here, what we can find. Here's another one. There we go. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, so this one is... That's, no, not under blue. Where are they? Right here. Relationship contract legal. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Wow, that is so toxic, bro. Okay, so I just ran up on the uh, the captain's headquarters. And there should be a code. 2679? Let's try that. Um, 20. Nope, that's not 2. 20. Six, seventy, nine. Okay, let's go inside. Cool, 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 cool. Let's open this first. Get some water. Got a PDA. Captain's log. Um, loading program. Craig, Craig McGillis, McGill's, McGill, Craig McGill's simulator. Um, uh, you are exploring a quiet alien backwater when the ship you arrived here in. Implodes. It must be the arachnid kidney poachers. Quick, what will you do? Uh, farm alien plans. Use the tectonic de-imploder. What? That's just what Craig McGill would do. After foraging for some hours, you have collected a number of potentially farmable foodstuffs. Which will you sustain yourself with? Okay. Uh, while the star wall eggs are nutritious, the life cycle of these vast space-fearing creatures is much too slow to sustain a farm. And besides... Their mother is extremely angry with you. Um, I wish there was like a uh, recording of this. Craig McGill knows there is no reasoning with a mother scorned. You are not so much torn apart as swallowed whole and dis disintegrated. The atoms that you thought were you are gradually redistrib re redistributed in service of the Starwall's continued survival. Would you like to continue? I'm not going to lie. This completely... I'm confused. One player, map Boreal 9. So is this some kind of, oh, it's a simulator. So he's simulating survival. I got you. Okay, cool. Interesting. Let's get some of this stuff here. Aurora miniature? I want that. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening last recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Okay. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. Please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find in situ, but it's going to need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications Relay Offline. Okay. So, what was that? Was that our, uh, our way out? I'm confused a little bit. Let's go into data downloads. Um, where was that? That wasn't that, was it? No, that's the rendezvous. I'm going to have trouble finding it. I already know. Is there anything new on our beacon manager? Nope. Nothing new. Okay, I'm going to look at codes real quick because... I mean, I just got here to the captain's quarters, but I think I have codes for something else as well. And let me try and find it real quick. 
Let's see. I don't think it's any of that. Codes and clues. Here we go. Okay. Um, this looks more like a clue than anything. I don't see any codes in this one. Okay, we got that code right there. Lab access. This is. I think this is what I was looking for. I need to... Um, I want to find the lab if I can. Okay, these are clues, right? Not a code. Note to self. Okay, we already read that before, I think. All right, let me find the lab if I can, and I feel like that might be it. Feel, wait, is this... What is this? How do I get in here? Cabin 1? Do I have the code for that? I don't think I do. I don't think I have the code for cabin one. Maybe I just haven't picked it up yet. Let me know if I'm wrong about that, but I don't think there's a way through. Okay, I think these are all cabins over here. And I'm looking for the lab. Okay. I don't really know where to go. Canteen, supply. Huh. Living quarters. Maybe, I don't know where to go from here. Maybe that was it. Right? I just saw something pop up bottom right. Can't tell. Something scannable. Okay. Ponsu fragment. Oh, I need two more. Maybe. Oh, shit. I think I'm going to fall. Thought I was going to fall down. Maybe I can, uh. Yeah. That's fun. That's three. Can I scan one more? Maybe, maybe not. I probably can, but there's a lot of fire in the way. Let me go ahead and get rid of this right here. Yeah, it looks like I can scan that. And now I think I can make the prawn suit. Nice. New blueprint acquired. How do I make that? How do I make a prawn suit? I'm actually super excited about that. <laughs> a whole bunch of shit I don't know anything about. Uh, I mean, I think I have a couple diamonds, maybe. I got lead. Plasteel, I think, was... Um, I forgot what it was, but I've made one before. The aerogel is what I don't know. I've made gl enameled glass before. I just don't know about aerogel. And I don't think it's one of the ingredients... Oh, it is, actually. A gel sack and a ruby. Well, hello. A gel sack and a ruby. I think I might be able to... I remember the gel sack, but I don't remember where I've found it. I don't think I have any. I have rubies, but I don't have gel sacks. I might be able to craft that. Let me actually pin a couple more things. Okay, so this, I'm going to pin that. Pin that as well. Oh, I need a stalker tooth. I think I might be out of stalker tooth. Or stalker teeth, I guess. And I think that's it. Diamonds. I think I find diamonds in the uh, where the jelly shrooms are. That might be right. Um, oh my god. See, I, I think I said it before. You know, thalassophobia is one thing. Like, I don't like... I'm starting to get it. Like, I see... like When I'm playing this game or Stranded Deep, I do get... You know, I, I tense up whenever I'm in the ocean. But I've always had the fear of water um, like this. Like, having electronics down there. You know what I mean? Like being in a, uh, I mean, I've, I don't know what to call it, but in a tub where there's like electronics. So when I was younger, like going underwater in the bathtub and you can hear the gears turning and stuff like that, um, was really, really scary for me. Okay. Is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else. Guys, this might be it. I almost walked right into that. This might be it. I don't think there's anything left to explore for now. You might have to come back. I just gotta... Well, I gotta find a way out of here. And now I'm, like, lost completely. I might have to find my way back over here. Yo, how do I get out of here? Yeah, I need a... Uh, someone mentioned a Pathfinder before. I might need that. Because Lord knows I get so turned around and lost. <laughs> uh, now I don't even want to go back down there. Is there another way out? Um, damage wiring. Okay. Do I have my, um... Yeah, I was looking for my repair tool. Which I don't think is on my bar. I can't really see that well. I think it is. Yeah, number four. Here we go. 
Maybe this will take us out of here or take us somewhere new. Let's open this, see what we find. Got a fire going over here. Should I put it out? Might as well. With what little I have left in this, uh... Yeah, no. I don't think there's anything over there anyway. Let me just go ahead and go this way. My flashlight out. I wonder where this is going to take me. Maybe it'll take me back out. I don't know. We're just deeper into the Aurora. What's that? A power cell? A battery? A med kit? Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and pop that right now. I'm quickly running out of space. Anything else in here? There's another open locker. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Aurora Auxiliary Mission Orders. Uh, mission Brief. A Mongolian vessel, the Degassi, disappeared almost a decade ago, carrying with it a high-ranking Mongolian chief. Corporate Insurance has purchased passage aboard the Aurora for Emissary Kassar, and your orders are to make every reasonable effort to locate and retrieve the Degassi crew members without compromising their primary mission. Confirming the fate of the crew will aid Altair's diplomatic efforts with the Mongolian councils. Oh. Aurora is due to perform a slingshot maneuver. Da -da -da. This will bring the ship within range of the Degassi's last known position. Um, additional aquatic, aquatic, aqua, aquatic, quack, <laughs> quack, aquatic, additional aquatic and all-terrain vehicles have been included in the Aurora's cargo package for this mission. Degassi crew manifesto has been distributed to senior employees in a separate message. Okay. So there's two missions going on here. One is to build a phase gate, and the other is to actually figure out what happened to um, the Degassi survivors. Well, Paul uh, forgot their names already. Bart, was it Bart and Margaret? Let's open this door. Let me take out my laser cutter. Where you at? Right there. Let's see what's behind this door. Door number two. Let's get behind it. This laser cutter is so awesome. Can I upgrade my laser cutter so it can go a little bit faster? Still really cool though. I'm really, I actually really like this area. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to come back because I just... What the fuck was that? What was that? The Aurora is freaking me out. Okay, we were just at the prawn bay, locker room. Then where are we going now? Okay. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. Really? The drive core shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. So, what? What you trying to say? Okay, let me um put this bad boy on my toolbar. I mean, can I just run right through? No, I'm not going to do that. I'll die. Watch me, like, die instantly. Let me grab this crate real quick. Another battery. Oh. What I need are more extinguishers. Whoa, this room is huge. Is that smoke? It looked like water for a second. I was like, that does not how physics works. That's dangerous. I don't think there's anything over there for me on that side. So we're going to stay away from that. Oh my god, this, see, this is what really creeps me out, man. There should not be water down there. Uh-oh, that's not good. I don't know what that is. Something about a cyclops. Recycles heat by product to increase engine efficiency. Okay. I don't have a cyclops. That's another thing I need to build. So, oh god, I feel like we should not be going down here. This is like a death trap. I should be figuring out a way to get out of here. Oh my goodness. So, it says don't repair this stuff, right? Is it telling me I can scan it or is it telling me I can repair it? Can I repair? No? Doesn't look like it. I just saw like a scan. Like there's something scannable here. I don't know what it was. Is there anything I can do down here? I don't think so. So yeah, it's not like I can repair those, uh, plug those holes, right? Okay, that is giving me a scan. Reach. Whoa! Oh, what the hell is that, bro? Get off my arm, bro! 
Oh my gosh, yo. What the hell is that? Where's my knife? Where's my knife? Bitch. Did I do something with it? Oh shit, I was actually- I was- Okay. I got it. What the fuck? Ah! Get off of me! Yeah, I was trying to pull out- I was trying to pull out my, um, my thermal blade. So I can kill it, but it looks like I didn't need to. What was that? Is it dead? I don't see it. Where is it? Was there only one? That was scary. I was not expecting that. There it is. Wait, what is that? Is that it? That's it. That's it. Fucking... Come here, bitch. Oh, I'm, I see... I, oh my gosh! Bitch! I'm trying to scan it. A bleeder. I mean, I, I've already figured out what it does. But, uh... Okay, so, behavior... The bleeder's low speed and poor defenses suggest they have evolved primarily as carry-on feeders. Inconvenient and unhygienic. Avoid or incapacitate. Okay. So, hopefully I don't... No nasty surprises comes from uh, those guys. Okay, so I can repair these. I didn't think I could. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Ten? So, is this... Is, okay, so this is what's gonna help the radiation from getting worse? I think. Maybe. It's what kind of what I've gathered so far. Which should be good. Okay, there's nine more. There's one right here. So, okay. So, <laughs> I instinctively used my... Um, I was going for my thermal blade. And then I guess I panicked a little bit. But my propulsion thing... Okay, look. Here he goes. Where's my... um Cannon... I didn't know. Look at that. That's cool. That's like super cool. Damn it. What happened to it? What happened to it? Okay. So what can I do now? Can I like throw it into something? Bitch. Get some. <laughs> Get wrecked. Okay. So that was a cool little discovery. Alright, let's plug this hole right here. I wonder what happens once I... Oh my gosh. Get off of me. I might need to get rid of this guy too. I hope that this gets rid of them like permanently. I think it just... I think you drop back in the water. He's back in the water. I hear something. Like a sea monster. Alright, I'm looking for more of these breaches. There's one right here. How many more? Containment breach repaired. Further okay. breaches detected. Where? I'm looking for the sp oh, they're further up. Like right here. There we go. I need to replace the battery in my um Containment breach repaired. My cannon. Further breaches detected. Five more. Five more and we are good. Further breaches detected. Where else? Where else? Okay. Right over here. I don't see five more. I see this one, but what about... Containment There's three more. Okay, up here. Detected. There's two up here. How do I... I gotta go up here first, I think. Okay. Here we go. Almost done. Two more after this. Now I just gotta find the last one. I didn't see it underwater. I'm not seeing it. I can't see it from up here. That's <laughs> freaky. Is it underwater? Maybe I missed one underwater, but I don't see it anywhere. I'm not seeing sparks. That's what I'm looking for. Let's just take a lap around and see if we see anything down here. No, I'm not seeing anything. It said one more, right? I think it said one more. Huh. Where, 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 where is it? 
I mean, I see a lot of sparks happening, but I don't think those are um, anything repairable. I'm like looking at these and I don't see anything to repair. I don't even know what these things are. Oh, how do I get up? Can I go up this way? Yeah, I don't see anything. Maybe on the other side. If I go over here? Can I go over here? That is the question. Besides, I don't see anything to repair over here either. Hmm. I'm a little confused, a little confused. I don't know what to do. Oh, wait. Here we go. We found it. We found it. This is good. It's good news. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, I did that. That was me. I did that. I'm <laughs> I decreased the radiation. That's awesome. What's that music? Can I do anything else now? What's that music? Let me go ahead and um pop one of these. Pop a couple of these, and we should be good. Okay. So, do I go anywhere else now, or do I just leave? I don't think there's anything else for me in this room. But, um, I would say mission accomplished, for sure. The fire came back. That's not good. Let's go this way. Nice. Yeah, I would definitely say mission accomplished. But I think there was another... area. Damaged wiring? Okay, let's check out this room. I mean, I guess we're just going to explore as much as we can. This is the uh, Seamoth Bay. I wonder if um, that's a fragment. I mean, I already have. I think it's just going to give me titanium, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've already got that stuff. And I don't want to carry around the extra titanium right now. Is there anything else like a PDA or this thing right here? Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Don't mind if I do. Can I see it? Is what I want to know. Um, was it a blueprint, maybe? Looks like it. I think so. Not sure. Data download. Yeah, there's nothing new under here. It must be up here. There's a lot. Oh, data download. If I scroll down, will I see it? Operation logs? This right here. Found it. Um, loading programs. Desert Island Drama. Uh, I guess V-Rat is virtual... I don't know. V-Rat. Three players. Spawning players on beach. Interesting. Okay, interesting. Looks like uh, these guys were running like simulator things. Situa like different survival situations to train. Oh my god, that scared the living shit out of me. Bro, get away. That is so scary when they pop up. I don't even know what I just picked up. I think it was water. Um, anything down here? Let's turn on our flashlight. Yeah, nothing that I can see. Nope, nothing down here. Okay, so we went to the... Bro, get off of me. Leave me alone. So we went to the Seamoth Bay, went to the drive room. I think that was it. There's nothing else, right? I think that's it. So I guess we're just going to go back this way. I hope I didn't miss anything, but knowing me, I probably did. All right, let's go back this way. Let's see what's in here. Prom Bay is that way kind of curious how I get out of the ship, period. How I get out of here. Let's get back to the prom bay and see if we can um, retrace our footsteps. Okay, here we are. 
It's nothing over here, right? Yeah, I feel... <laughs> I mean, look at that. We should not be here right now. This is so dangerous. Okay, yeah, this is where I got lost. I couldn't find my way back. I just get so, like... Is that a new one? Can't tell. Cool. I didn't see that before. There's just so much going on, like, I can't tell left from right, up from down. Or even just how to get out of here. Oh, dude, my sound cut for a second. Can't go this way. Nope. Dude, how do I get out of here? Oh, I don't want to panic. I think we found the right way. Here we go. Can I move this stuff out of the way? Oh, I don't even have power in this thing. But even if I did, I don't think I can use it. Yeah, I can't use it. Let's go back this way. That is so dangerous, man. I don't remember being over here. I can't tell if this is new or not. I must have already passed through here, but... Jesus Christ. <laughs> so violent. Let's go down here. This, I think... I don't remember this at all. But I must have already, yeah. I already got that. Here we go. There's just so much in this place. It is so overwhelming. Okay, so I got codes for this. I don't know where this is. But let's uh, let's say... Okay, let's just say... Let's just dream that this might be the actual um, lab room. Because I only have one other code. And that's for the lab. 6483. Let's just see if that works. Um, six, four. Four, four, eight, three. Dude, hit the three. Three. Oh, it worked. I was right. Okay. Is there anywhere for me to like get air? I think I gotta go back in here. Damn it. Do I have another? I don't have a spare. Tank. Here, let me try to figure this out real quick. I don't want to fucking die. Let me go up here. Okay. <laughs> That's going to kill me for sure. If it's not the drowning, it's going to be that. Alright, so now I can go back over here. I'm going to swim through this real quick to see if there's another... Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. Oh, wow. Can I get air here? Okay. Got a little air pocket. Alright, now I feel like I can actually go around here and look for stuff and I don't see anything oh right there Integrating new PDA data. what was that I need to uh, I don't know what that was I'm not sure if I'm gonna hunt it down either um, it says something about learning from something hive mind something I'm not really sure I'll look for it later this stuff right here, I feel like, is not really essential, so I'm gonna kind of, um, kind of skip over it for now. Other than that PDA, I don't see anything else in here. What about this room? Don't see anything here either. Nothing in the crates? Nope. Okay, I'm not seeing anything in here worth grabbing. And let's go up here. To safety. To safety. Is that it? I mean, I feel like... I don't know. I feel a little weird about the lab. Like, why did it give me access to the lab? If you need to tweak your equipment, please use the mod station in the forward section or retrieve pre-configured equipment from the lab next door to the data coil. I mean, I the code worked, so this has to be the lab, right? If that's the case, then 
I was maybe expecting to see like a mod station or something. But I'm not getting anything here. Let me go back. Something I just saw something scannable. I'm not sure what it was. Okay. Nothing. I don't see anything. I mean, this must be the little coil area. Anything here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. I mean, I mean that sucks. I mean, there's stuff in here, but I'm assuming this is all like decor. Yeah, these are non-functional. They're decorative. Not really interested in that at the moment. Let's go back. Wait, where do we go? This way. Yeah, up here. I just had to double check because I just feel like for me to have a code, I thought there would be something uh, important in there. What's that door? Can I go over there? I don't think I can open it anyway. All right, let's go back out. Is this outside? Are we outside? We're outside. Okay. Shit. Well, we did it. We explored the Aurora. Um, granted, I don't think I saw everything in there, and I might need to go back in a couple of times to fully explore it. But I feel like that was a good first, you know, first tour of the uh, Aurora, so to speak. Let me, um... Okay, so I was saving this for the, uh, for the end of the video, now that we fully explored the Aurora. Or, you know, for the first time at least. I want to get round two with this guy. I need to scan him. And I'm going to try and scan... Okay, I should save the game first because we just went through a lot. Okay, I think we're saved. We just <laughs> found a lot of stuff and I don't want to uh, lose anything. But let me find this guy real quick. So I can scan him. Wherever he is. There he is. Hopefully he doesn't mess with my... Uh... Bitch. I'm going to get you this time. Oh my gosh. No!